guys, our biggest signing of this career mode, Paulo Dybala is welcomed at Liverpool. Oh, I love that. And we signed him for zero money in terms of, I, I, I told you guys that he is the biggest signing in terms of he is the best rated player in this career mode that I've ever bought. 94 rated Paulo Dybala joins Liverpool on a free transfer and he joins on a five year contract. How amazing is that? I just love that. What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a brand new Liverpool career mode episode and we continue our campaign with Spain in our quest to win the World Cup but first let's look at our transfer budget it's absolutely crazy six more than 600 million pounds the transfer budget and Paulo Dybala arrived on a pre-contract agreement I'm so so happy with this and also we sold Saul to Juventus so that we make room to sign more players and I'm especially looking forward to signing Yuri Tillemans but first let's promote a guy from the youth academy who I think is ready to get promoted he is already 66 rated overall 91 to 94 potential 17 year old striker Will Davis from England so let's promote him to the senior team and I'm also in the process of selling uh, some uh, young players who aren't really fulfilling their poten potential so when we get more room in the squad because at the moment as you can see we have uh, 51 players in our squad so let's check out Will Davis and his stats so he has oh no he has five star skills but one star weak foot oh damn oh damn i will add him to the transfer list because with the one star weak foot i don't think so i put loan i put uh, kieran tierney on the transfer list because i want to promote one of the youth academy players as our second left back and i think tierney has won everything with liverpool but we get a loan offer for him. I mean, I don't want to loan him out. I want to sell him outright so we make room uh, for uh, other players. And also, many of you guys said that I shouldn't sell Vinicius Junior. Uh, so in the previous uh, episode, I put him on the transfer list and we get a brilliant transfer offer from, from Napoli, but I already rejected it because yeah, Vinicius Jr. is a club legend at Liverpool and I don't want to move him on because like 65-70% of you guys said that we should keep Vinicius Jr. I honestly don't think that he will make it at us. We are in a very good position in the group. If we draw the last game, we qualify to the knockout stages. But of course, we want to win. The other groups uh, are pretty straightforward. Normally, the big teams finish first. Like, uh, as you can see, England won this group. So we want to finish first so we can avoid the biggest teams in the competition the only big team who finished in second place is brazil so in theory it could be a spain brazil uh, last 16 match but you know the most of the groups are finished as uh, expected the biggest shock is that italy went out in the first uh, round in the group stage in fact because venezuela uh, got a draw against both the netherlands and italy and then they beat my home country Hungary so that is the biggest shock that Venezuela not only made it through the uh, to the World Cup but they actually qualified from the group stage and in this one I expect Argentina to go through and Scotland are in a very good position amazingly Scotland could go to the knockout stages what we got bad news Isco suffered a broken toe so Isco will miss the World Cup this will be my team against Northern Ireland. I decided to rest quite a lot of players because I want them to be fresh for the knockout stages and this team still should be good enough to beat Northern Ireland. Come on boys, let's do this. Welcome to the last group stage game in the World Cup. We really want to go through as group winners so we can avoid the, the biggest nations in the round of 16. Come on boys. Go on. Go on, Ceballos! Oh, good shot, good save. Oh, that's a good, that's a really good corner and I honestly thought that was him. But it's, I think, only in the side netting. Wow. Come on, boys. Come on, that's a good corner. Hit it! Has to be! Yes! It's one nil. It's only a ball with an opener and a good start was very important in this one. Let's win the game early and then 
we can cruise into the knockout stages as group winners. Wow, what a mistake by Northern Ireland. Twice they let us have a rebound and uh, the second time we don't miss that. Really good finish. Oh no. Surely not. Who the hell needed a big save there. Wow. Suso to Sabayos. Go on, and another shot, but it's wide. Go on. Oh, Maffeo, he doesn't have the best of shooting. Look at that. Go on, go on, please. No. Go on, hit it. Oh, we hit the post. Santi Mina, I think. What a chance that was. Wow, it could have been 2-0. Uh oh, uh oh, Burns is running at me. No, come on! The hell! What are you doing? The hell makes a horrendous goalkeeping error. Just like in real life for Man United. The hell flaps at the shot. And just like that, from absolutely nothing, Northern Ireland equalized. And we could be in trouble because if we lose this game, we could go out of the World Cup. Oh, wow, it gets a deflection. Maybe that's why the hell had that bad late reaction oh my god surely not that's the, the hell that's yours oh my goodness it's a goal but i think the referee gives a free kick wow i've, I've seen stranger things than <laughs> than that goal being given by the stupid referee on fifa i'm just glad it wasn't given and suddenly what is going on Suddenly Northern Ireland putting us under pressure. Wow. Come on Spain. Wake up That's oh wow. No, I didn't want to pass it there Please there we go the hell come on Go on Go on. Let's go so so great first touch Come on Santimina! so much I want to win the group and look at that celebration by Mina come on we had nine shots in the first half Northern Ireland had like two so I really want to win this game they don't deserve to beat Rolepo and Santi Mina brilliant first touch and a great finish oh no surely not oh my what a shot pass what a pass and Suso can do some magic here surely go on Santimina and has to be oh you kidding me dude how many chances do we need jeez look at the defensive midfielders how tired they are so let's bring on Saul and Rodri and also let's bring on Asensio for that guy let's hope that i can keep this lead it's very important oh my oh what a mistake and something mina another big save this goalkeeper is keeping northern ireland in the game so frustrating yes guys we have done it we won the game and we hopefully win the group and uh, we should have a better goal difference than uh, other team i think it's australia if they beat ivory coast uh, they can still win the group and this should have been a much bigger win i mean i had 14 shots 11 on target and with our b team with our second team we better northern ireland we just couldn't find the break breakthrough really in so many situations suso was the man of the match he got an assist today and he had a good game so this is how the group stage finished we won the group only just by a better goal difference wow if australia scored one more goal against ivory coast they would have won the group so it was very close but i'm delighted that we win the group and in this one scotland made it through they couldn't egypt couldn't beat scotland so they qualified to the knockout stages and argentina win the group so my hope is that we avoid brazil and maybe uruguay but other than that 
bring on anyone. Oh wow, we get Scotland! That is, wow, that is an amazing draw. Andrew Robertson, of course, is probably Scotland's best player. But there are already some ties in the round of 16, which could be World Cup finals, like France against Brazil. That is a huge matchup. Portugal, Russia, Netherlands, Colombia, Germany, Venezuela, Belgium, Uruguay. That is also a big matchup. Argentina, Australia and England, Czech Republic. I'm glad we didn't finish second because then we would have played Argentina. I just had a feeling that I need to rest my first team in the Northern Ireland game because look, it was on June the 29th and on July the 1st we already played the knockout game against Scotland. So there is just two days between the two games which means that if we played our first team against Northern Ireland they would be this tired. Look at my bench and my reserves, like they are knackered. Come on, this is my team, the strongest possible lineup. Let's go! Welcome to the knockout stage of the World Cup. This is where the real competition starts in my opinion and I'm really pumped for this one. Scotland could make history knocking out Spain here, but we want to avoid that. Come on boys. So here's the, here is the Scotland team. They have Andrew Robertson and Tierney. Are, they are playing Tierney at centre-back. So those are two players that we have at Liverpool. And oh my goodness, I didn't realize that McLean, the 91 rated goalkeeper, is a Scottish. So he will probably save most of our shots. Wow. Oh no! Please clear that! Oh my goodness, Scotland hit the bar! Or hit the post! Wow! What a start! Oh my god, let's go! Let's go Grimaldo, that's lovely stuff! Go on! Thiago! Penalty! That is a penalty! Yes! And it's Robertson! Oh, the Liverpool player! This time for Scotland! makes a big big error he fouls Thiago it was a last ditch desperate attempt and let's give it to Soler he is our best penalty taker but remember that McLean is a world-class keeper come on Soler please bury it come on yes what a great start to this the knockout stage of the World Cup. We go 1-0 up just before halftime. Very cool penalty by Soler. And it's 1-0. We sent McLean the wrong way. Very, very good. Very cool penalty. Get in there, Soler. Love that. Go on. Oh, look at Odrio Zola. He's wide open on the wing. Really nice. Go on. Bang. Soler. Oh no, he blasted it over the bar, damn! No! Oh, Scotland hit the boost! Oh no! Oh wow, we got very lucky there, did the hell get a touch? No, he didn't! Wow! Oh, Inaki Williams! Oh, great run! Boom! Oh, McLean saved it! No! No! Oh, that's a good save! That's a really good save by the hell. Come on. Love that. Let's go. No. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, go on. Inaki Williams! Oh, he misses the target. Saul is on his knees. He's very tired. But as you can see, my other like defensive midfielders, they are not too fresh either so yeah Ceballos is maybe a little bit fresher and instead of Odrio Zola let's bring on Bellerin just to give Odrio Zola a rest instead of Asensio Santimina can come on and let's put Santimina in the middle oh that's lovely pass by Aspilicueta go on Suso Ceballos please Ceballos and Inaki Williams, another save by McLean. Come on, I'm having a lot of chances here. Go on, Mina. That's pretty quick. I have a dig, why not? Another block. Grimaldo has to cut in. Please, go on. Go on, Ceballos, have a dig, why not? Another chance goes back in. 
Yes guys, we have done it! We are through to the quarterfinals of the World Cup. That was the minimum requirement, I think, for this Spain team. But of course, I want to win the tournament. That's why we, we, got, uh, we accepted the Spain manager job. And we really should have scored more goals. We had 11 shots. But of course, McLean, who is one of the best goalkeepers in the world now, plays for Scotland, so we can only beat him on penalties. Thiago was the man of the match, interestingly. Here is the confidence confirmation that Liverpool completed the Paulo Dybala transfer. I'm so so happy about that and also Saul has left the club for Juventus and we will start making some big transfers but first I want to complete the World Cup and of course the club was happy with uh, my season because we won the Premier League. I think that was very very important. So the biggest result is that Brazil knocked out France who are in real life world champions. Colombia knocked out Netherlands. That is a, one of the biggest shocks of the World Cup so far. Portugal knocked out Russia. That's expected. Germany, Belgium, England and Argentina went through. So the only big, big surprise is that the Netherlands are out against Colombia, but Colombia are uh, no slouches themselves, they are a very good team. So which big team do we get in the quarterfinals? Ooh, we get Portugal and I wonder does Cristiano Ronaldo still get called up to the Portugal national team? Remember that this, this is season 5 of the career mode, so Ronaldo is probably like what 36 37 years old at this stage germany belgium england argentina and colombia brazil wow those are very very tasty fixtures no small team are left in the competition really and i'm checking the portugal squad and ronaldo is not here so ronaldo didn't even get called up to the national team but i want to check is he still in the game Ronaldo is still in the game, he's 85 rated, so I'm not sure why he hasn't been called up to the national team. Uh, and uh, he's retiring at the end of the season, he's 37 years old at the moment. But yeah, it's, it's weird that uh, Portugal hasn't, haven't called, up, uh, called him up to the World Cup. 